Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in our compiler design that is yak tool. So here yak stands for at another compiler compiler which is a parse tree generator tool. So this is a parse tree generator tool. And it stands for yet another compiler compiler, right? So this is called a yak tool, yet another compiler compiler. So this will be acting as a parse tree generator tool. So which indicates that the output of this particular tool is parse tree. So the output of this tool is parse tree okay that is also particularly l a l r 1 parse tree right so which generates the l a l r 1 parser so l a means look ahead uh, and the input string uh, parsing from left to right and uses the rightmost derivation with the one look ahead and see here we will be having some ag specifications and that ag specifications will be having a file name with a dot extension dot y, right? And these specifications are divided into three categories or three divisions. So the first one is definition, definition, and this should be in between the modular symbol, that is the percentage symbols. And this <coughs> definitions means it defines all the tokens token information token information will be there similarly the declarations will be there and some header files will also be here header files and the constant declarations okay variable declarations everything will be comes under this definition phase and the next one is rules and that should be included in between two module symbols so this is most important so this section specifies specifies the actions to be done or the actions to be taken taken when the token is matched with the grammar matched with grammar see here this particular specifications will be having some grammar and after processing this particular grammar will be having some parse string so where it will take a tokens as an input okay so let me explain in detail right so this will be the second section so second section is a rules section where the actions it specifies the actions to be taken when the token is matched with the grammar and the last section is auxiliary routines auxiliary routines so this section specifies the function definitions the routines means subroutines or functions so whatever the functions we are writing inside the main function including the main function so that will be executed and that will return the result okay as a zero or one if it returns one that implies the parsing is unsuccessful and if it returns zero that implies the parsing is successful. That means the execution of subroutine is successful. So here, the main function will be executed and also the functions will be done. So function definitions will be done. Okay. And if return 0, that is successful. So successful execution. If it returns 1, it is unsuccessful. So, this information will be given in this particular auxiliary routines. So, these are the three different sections available in the YAC specifications. Okay. So, first one is the definition. So, where all the declarations will be done. Second one is the rules where the actions to be taken, what type of actions to be taken if there is a match. 
and the next one is the auxiliary routines where not the normal main function or any function definition will be get executed and it will return some uh, some value so if the return is either zero it is successful and if it is one it is a unsuccessful now after specifying this one right so this complete information will be available in this yak specifications which is of a dot y for example let us take it as a some <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Sample dot y, which consists of the YAC specifications. Now, what happens after specifying this one, right? The complete grammar. Okay, after specifying all the grammar according to the specifications. So we will be saying that it has a dot y, right? So I'll take sample dot y will be taken as an input and to which we have to give to the yak compiler to the act compiler so if this file is given to the as a input to the act compiler it will produce some uh, y dot tab dot c so that means c file c programming file will be returned as a output now in order to execute this we require some c compiler so the next step so this is the step one and step two, what is the step two? So whatever the output we got from the act compiler, there is a y dot tab dot c will be given to the c compiler now. C compiler. So which will produce a dot out. Here a dot out is a analyzer, right? Syntactic analyzer or a parse generate, parser generator. So the next one this for this particular a dot out we are supposed to give the tokens as an input and these tokens will be coming from the program that means this is the output of the first phase of a compiler that is a lexical analyzer so we have discussed about the lex tool so which produces all the tokens of the program smallest individual units of a program so those tokens will be given as an input for this particular parse generator. And finally, the output will be the parse tree. The output will be the parse tree. So this says how we can get the parse tree from this YAC specifications. YAC specifications. So I'll write here. Okay. So first the act specifications, this file will be given to the React compiler which will produce the C, C file and C file will be given to the C compiler which will create the parse generator. So this will be the parse generator. We can simply write it as a parse generator. So we need to pass the tokens as an input here in the second phase. So what we have discussed in the earlier session, there's a first phase is a uh, lexical analyzer. The next one is a syntactic analyzer, right? So uh, whatever the input we are, uh, whatever the output we are getting from the lexical analyzer that will be given to the next second phase. So that's what we are saying. So tokens are the uh, output of uh, lexical analyzer which we are giving as an input to the a dot out which is a parse generator which will generate the parse tree. So this is how the parse trees uh, will be created by using this parse tree generator. So this is a tool. This is a tool which will generate the parse trees. That's also particularly LALR parsers, LALR parsers. So we have seen these LALR parser and different types of parsers in our previous session, right? So once you for that, okay? So hope you enjoyed this one and uh, let's stop here. Uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.